Women's History Month, and we are continuing to celebrate the accomplishments of women who have helped build LA into what it is. One of those women is Janet Zuccarini, the CEO and founder of Gusto 54 Restaurant Group. She's a powerhouse entrepreneur in the restaurant industry and has built a global network of restaurants, including two right here in LA. And let's bring in Janet first off. Um, as this woman in this industry, what brought you into the restaurant business? When I was 18, I moved to Italy and I studied business there and I lived there for eight years and fell in love with cooking and food and the culture. So after university, I went back to Toronto where I'm from and I opened up an Italian restaurant in 1996. That restaurant is still going strong 25 years later. And <clears throat> from there, I slowly started to grow the, the different restaurants that we now have. We now have 13 concepts, but I really focused on purchasing real estate and putting restaurants inside the real estate. And every project, I have to have a deep connection to the food, um, and it has to be very meaningful for me. So we have Italian restaurants, Thai restaurants. I lived in Southeast Asia. Um, we have a Middle Eastern restaurant, a Jamaican restaurant, and uh, now we have 13 concepts, uh, two in L.A., Wow. third to come in LA. Okay, then tell us about your LA restaurants and what makes them stand out in this area? I moved to LA seven years ago and really wanted to, in a way, bring my best work to LA. Being a Canadian woman, um, you know, when you, when you look at women in the industry, it's only 4% of the global industry that are female owners or executive chefs. So um, it's very much a male dominated industry. And you know, I thought LA was such a fantastic city and the food culture uh, at, the, at the highest level. So I just wanted to bring my best work. And we opened up Felix about four years ago. Uh, my partner is Evan Funky. He's an incredibly talented chef. And we've received incredible accolades for that restaurant. Um, a, a restaurant that just opened up a few weeks ago, Gusto Green, really a passion project where I wanted to do something that was good for the environment, um, thinking about the future of food and how people want to eat and really something good for your health and well-being. And Gusto Green is an omnivore-friendly omnivore, omnivore friendly, uh, restaurant, but we really put plants first. Well, the menu's beautiful. I mean, I, and I, taking a look at some of the photos, you have everything from crispy hemp leaves to a, a beautiful roasted chicken dish. Yeah, like we said, we want to make it friendly for everyone, but we feel that... Um, you know, to be kind to yourself and to be mm -hmm. kind to the environment, we should be really putting the plans first. Yeah. And we're, we're really trying to put food through the lens of food is medicine. I think that's so important. Uh, and you opened, and talk about an undertaking, five restaurants during this pandemic. How did you pull that off? Yeah, you know, 2020 was to be our big year uh, where I was slowly growing the company over 25 years. 2020 was five restaurants all in one year. Of course, the pandemic hits. And I would say the only reason that I'm here today is uh, that I've surrounded myself with superstars. I have the most amazing team. So I cannot take the credit, mm -hmm. but uh, the, the most brilliant uh, team around me. What advice do you have for other female entrepreneurs and business owners out there, even if they aren't going into the restaurant industry? Well, I think an entrepreneurial mindset is to understand that problems occur daily, nonstop. And when you switch your mindset to understanding that you are going to be solutions oriented and not be upset when problems come your way every single day. I think it really brings peace of mind. And talk about a strong woman, Janet Zuccarini. We love her and her restaurants and, and everything she's just put into it. And so inspiring and soul, to so. be able to make it work at this time. Because yeah, let's be honest, exactly. it's always hard, but during a pandemic, yeah. so much harder. And such an array of food. I mean, all her restaurants are so different. So uh, I enjoy talking to Janet.